What is going on guys? Unite the Clans here back in Yo Life. And we are back on the Primitive Plus server. This is Primitive Unlimited and this is another episode of this little mini-series I've been doing, Where to Play. Um, over the last year I've gotten to know a bunch of very cool YouTubers and now I have access to a bunch of great servers to play on. So. Uh, with the videos I've been posting lately, guys, I would love your feedback. Let me know what you like, what you'd be excited to see. And uh, this is one of those spots. So this is Primitive Unlimited. It runs pr the Primitive Plus Total Conversion, uh, which it, it adds uh, over 100 new engrams and items to the game. And uh, I showed this place off a little bit in the episode, the first episode of this series. So we, we went to every single server in that one. So if you do want to get caught up, check out that video in the description or in the cards. Um, and for those of you that have seen it, we are back here on the center, uh, living, we're actually on the island where our tribe lives. Now, when this server launched, we had a great number, seven or eight people on here playing a lot. And Primitive Plus, it, it just didn't launch so hot. It, it didn't go so well, and a lot of people got scared off. Now, that being said, I barely played. I made one video here, and there are several of my co my my friends, my fellow YouTubers, who, uh, who made a bunch and you can see all the stuff that was built up here that on the left is a mission for scorpion jesus built by the lame wolves uh, we have a giant plaza here built by monkey puzzle uh, i did a little bit in my brief time here I, I helped out i think i constructed and placed a bunch of the things here in this cooking area um, there are so many cool stations guys so this is a cooking station uh, we've got a firewood holder and there's tons of new items, like, take a look, obviously dry firewood, um, if you have a look in here, I have organic oil, I have a bunch of meats preserving, these cooked spare ribs are new, cooked poultry, so this, this is what this mod, a total conversion, is really all about, is exploring this stuff. Um, so I have this grill, which cooks things in big batches, there's uh, also preserving campfires, uh, smoke houses. Uh, we have all kinds of crafting. You can make uh, lumber uh, planks at the lumber station here. You got hand mills that mix things. That I honestly I didn't get into it enough to remember exactly what does what. Um, but yeah, this this is where the tribe started, and the idea on this server was for everybody to live in the same place. Don't go out and colonize the world. Don't go running to the far corners of the world and build your own base because we play on a vanilla server. A lot of the people from this one where that happens, where we all just pick our own part of the island and build, and we don't interact as much. So we wanted to have a big community area here, and this was part of it, and I wish that I had helped more in the construction of this stuff, but a lot of it really did turn out great. This is all thanks to uh, Monkey Puzzle, link in the description, and I did help out a little bit, barely, with this house. Um, Aaron uh, from BLP, uh, you can uh, check out his channel as well in the description. He built uh, most of this. I came in and I did this roof up here, I think, with the, the lumber roofing, one of the new building materials. That's the lumber glass, which turned out really great. And this became sort of a community crafting area. Um, this is the adobe, another one of the new building materials, and it's different from the scorched earth adobe. There's brick as well, if you have a look get out of my way you stupid Fiomia. uh if you have a look up here we've got uh that yeah a, a tavern i think this was supposed to be built from brick uh but you can see this this is a totally new deal guys this is uh arc and it's a, a brand new version of arc and um i never really got into it well beyond a week or two when it first came out and i'd like to get into it now so this is one of the series that i'm thinking about starting i'm going to judge by your feedback uh, so let me know this we have scorched earth on the molten iron server we could go back to our vanilla server there will be new things to tame and every cave in the game is being redone on the island so that's plenty of reason to go back to the iron mine server then i've got my own server uh, the one that i showed you in the last video um, building evolved uh, and we could do some fun stuff there as well so have a look around guys i'm thinking about where to set up shop um, now i know i mentioned that everybody the idea was to stay in town and have a big active social community center the only problem with that is i think me coming back here i may be the only one actively recording on this server so as cool as this area is if there aren't people around i feel like I'd like to get a little outside of town. I'd like to get far enough outside of town uh, that 
we don't constantly come back here to borrow resources or to use things that that the other members of the server have already built up i want to get far enough away that we have to do some stuff on our own so one of the spots we could build um if we're not staying in town is out this way at the base of that big spire now one of the best parts of the center map are those spires uh, they're very cool so uh in the mornings, you don't get a ton of light over here, but at the base here on the beach in the evenings, uh, you do get a great sunset. And um, I'll show you, it's not just a spire. This is a very cool sort of lagoon. I don't know what you call it. All right, so we got a, a gorgeous spot here. Now, the only problem is it's really not that accessible. Um, so we'd have to live really simply and we'd have to keep our you know get our resources up here if we built at the base of the spire we could have uh, dinos like uh, the beaver the dodicarus the ankylo come up here and gather resources for us um but I, th there's more to this area and I, i'm trying to figure out uh what the best way would be to build around here because i'd love a cliff base i'd love to be up on one of these rock bridges with a tremendous view where you get an awesome sunrise and an awesome sunset uh, that would be perfect for me but if you're up here you're so far from the resources so I'm thinking also about a beach base. Uh, it's been a long time since I just built on a beach. Uh, and that's old school. That's what how ARC started. So I would like to do some of that. This lagoon is a very cool spot as well. Uh, it's constantly full of sharks. And it gets its daylight towards the end of the day. But you could head straight up here to the top of this spire. And you could easily build up here. Easily. Um, and these are all spots on, I think we're Tropical Island North. Uh, so, again, another cool spot to build would be up here. It's flat enough you could do something decent with it. Um, and there's other nearby spires. This one goes out uh, towards the ocean again on one of those giant land bridges. Um, very small on top, but it leads right out over here. So you could build on this. You could build under this. If we are going to play here, guys, I want to run a longer series. Uh, and I want to build in a few spots. So uh, if you like one of these and you'd like to see me eventually get here, uh, let me know, but I think I've actually picked out the spot we're going to start off with. Um, and as much as this one's beautiful where we started off the video, it's not going to be this either because this is way too high up and just too out of the way. Um, so I want something simple and I think we are going to do a beach. But to get away from this island and to get away from some of the easy uh, crafting ability and, and things like that that we'd have here with all these dinos, all these stations, all these existing things that have already been set up we uh we want to get a little away from here and build on a beach and i've found a pretty cool little island it's super cool right now with uh oops you know what i might let let some things load in this spawn area is you know things load in fast for me but this spawn area is a uh, is particularly rough so um, i want to get out to this spot quickly guys and oh dang it's raining it's the center okay give me two minutes i'm gonna fly out to the island i like the most uh, it's still super close, and uh, I'll come right back to you. So that's our island behind us. That lagoon tucked back in there is where we just were. And if you look, we're over this giant chain of islands, and I think they're pretty cool. Uh, I've been meaning to build at a spot like this since I watched Corallus' last arc series uh, where he built on a little island. Now, I think the buggiest part of Primitive Plus is the building so we're probably going to keep that to a bare minimum and we're going to explore the many many engrams we'll do some farming we'll do some crafting uh, we'll get into some of this stuff and this i think is the spot you've got these two little trees that hopefully i could protect and make sure they don't get knocked over and i can build around them you've got uh, a couple of parasaurs one trike and that's it a bunch of dodos um so you can set up a little dodo coop here start some crops start farming and um as the game goes and i get into some of the more uh, new tiers of building materials we could do a little building here um, but i'd like to keep it simple and just find a safe spot to get us started i think this is it guys um i'm already too, way deeper into this video than i thought i would be at this point so i'm gonna take a break uh, i'm gonna get some stuff together i'm gonna bring my dinos or whoever i've got over here and some uh, basic building supplies and we're gonna get started on a starter base and then if you like it in the next episode we're gonna explore some of the engrams and get into some of the new technology you can get at this place uh, on primitive plus on this server all right take your break i will be right back
So, it's a pretty gnarly crew, guys. I didn't play here long enough to get together uh, a nice flock of dinos. Uh, I tamed this guy. He's a fairly high-level uh, Lystro. I remember taming him on day one. Uh, and then these raptors, none of them belong to me. But I'm going to bring them along for a little while for protection. I don't think they will be missed. If they will, I'll bring them right back. Uh, this is my RG. Tamed him back before uh, when I was on the server the first time. And actually, I think uh, BLP tamed him for me. I don't think I was even involved. And then I've gone and got a couple high-level dodos. There was one that was kicking around the beach unnamed. It was just named Dodo. Uh, and it was a high-level female, this one. So I added her to my team. And uh, I got a high level male as well and we're gonna slowly get together a bunch of dodos while we live on that island and uh, Use probably use that for food early on. We'll see um, but this is my crew now I'm I'm gonna try and make sure that island doesn't get too populated with dinos I'm gonna bring those raptors back as soon as I feel safe. Maybe once we get a bear um, Yeah, we'll see and then I tamed this guy back in the day There's a turtle over there. I would have tamed but I'm gonna leave these guys my my buck and then uh, these these other ones. These are all the kind of key ones you need for building. I'm going to leave them over here. Maybe eventually, if we do play here a lot, we'll build boats for them with proper storage for whatever materials they gather. And we'll be able to take them out to wherever we need to take them. But for now, I'll leave them here. I'll come back to this island to farm materials. But we're pretty well set up to build a starter base. So I am going to hopefully not lose any of these guys. Yeah, and I'm going to take myself over to that island and we're going to get started. I will leave you guys here for the time being and I'll be right back. Land ho. Beautiful. Okay, so this is the spot. We're back here. So you guys saw who I brought along. Uh, if you come down here, I'll show you a little of what I have. I just have some extra gear in storage here. Some uh, blueprints as well that we're eventually going to need. I uh, got a bunch of uh, of this kind of stuff, guys. The the new stations and things like that. I, we're not going to place all those today, but we will get into those. And uh, a bunch of building materials. You can see I've got lots here. I, uh, I posted a building video yesterday and from a building series if I decide to do more of those. So, oh, Am I stuck? Okay. Anyway, so I don't think I'm going to bring you guys along for building. What I'm going to do is get a, a basic house going uh, with some of these new materials. I'm going to get a uh, maybe a dodo coop going where we can st st stash away a few dodos and then add to the flock and uh, eat dodo eggs for, for the next little while. Uh, I'm going to go away for a little while, guys, and I'm going to come back when I have anything accomplished. I'll show you along the way. I will be back. So here is what I'm working on, guys. Welcome back. Uh, these are the concrete foundations around the outside. And due to some weird little building glitch, I'm able to intersect the foundations. I don't know. For whatever reason I did, it worked out. I was actually just trying to build a bunch of lines of foundation to find some that were going to line up uh, and still be able to be built right at the edge of this grass. I'm thinking about building around uh, this big grass area in the center, having all the builds circled around that. And we could even do some of them on rafts, because look how far I can get up here, and that is not even close to the, the limit of how far off a raft you can build. I could go way further. So that's a neat idea, too. We may do some houseboats, who knows what. But um, for here, what I'm thinking is instead of a, a you know, gigantic building. I'm thinking more of an open workplace area. I'm going to rail in the outside. I might have a little building for uh, some shelter in case we get some really cold or really hot weather, but um, actually nothing feels like really hot weather anymore after I haven't played Scorched Earth, so I'm not worried about that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to set this up as more of a crafting area, maybe one end with crafting stuff, one end with um, some uh, cooking stuff, who knows what. And then I might actually tackle another build, somewhere to put my dodos. And I think for now, I'm just going to leave these foundations with ramps on them so we can uh, move things up and, and out to load and unload them. And I, I, I'm not sure exactly, but I think I'm going to leave them here for now. And we may build off these foundations uh, if we do need more kind of work areas. There's the snap point, more work areas or, uh, you know, more housing, who knows what. Okay, get on there. Come on. God, this is um, why I'm building off camera, guys. Arc is a pain in the butt. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna go do some work. Uh, come on, mother effer. Ugh. 
All right, guys, I'm playing around with some ideas here, and I went and did uh, little strips of wooden fence foundations around the edge of the uh, concrete ones. I thought it was a cool look, gave a little raised edge to this, and I went back to the main island, and I made a couple of these. These are the lumber gate frames, and I'm going to try and figure out. I think I did, but I'm going to try and figure out if I placed it right. So we'll grab a couple of those gates, and we'll put one here. And let's just open this and see which way it wants to open. Ah, that's not what I was hoping for. Let's see if I can make it go the other way. Shoot. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know if I'm going to have a gate on both ends. Uh, I'm thinking about continuing to keep this, this lower area for crafting. I'm thinking about building a house above it. I think that could be a neat idea. Um, and I could totally build off of these gate frames, I think. Uh, I could, at the very least, I could... Give me a wall. Perfect. I could build off the fence foundations that are underneath and go from there. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. Uh, like that. I could totally build up from, from here. Maybe not with a gate in place. All right, so I'm going to mess around with some designs, guys. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Uh, I will probably not bring you back until I have something I actually like. All right, so bear with me. I will be back, guys. All right, guys, so I'm in the works of some things. Uh, I just want to say I'm, I'm working this out, but uh, I, I think I know how I want it. I'm actually going to come in here and maybe put door frames in here and hide some storage up there. But um, the situation we have now is I, I want to continue building this upper floor, and I can't. I built things in the wrong order. So i got to take down these gate frames, uh, which is kind of a bummer. So I'm going to have a weird-looking little house. Uh... And I may end up doing pillars on the corners. We'll see. Let me play around with it, and uh, I'll come back again. All right, guys. Welcome back. This is, I think, the final step. I went ahead and, and made a little temporary dodo roost up here. And hopefully I should be able to get eggs if they hatch. And the house is pretty much done. Uh, I had to take down those giant gate frames, so we're going to put those back. But before we do, I wanted to slap a roof on it. And I wanted to say... Don't expect a lot of building if this becomes a series, uh, because, look, we did so little. Everything's so off-kilter. Nothing lines up. Building in Primitive Plus is still a mess, and you will see it when we try to put this roof together, I'm sure. There's going to be all kinds of stupid gaps and spaces and weird snap points. So, in the future episodes, we are going to get quickly into the fun stuff, into the new engrams, into crafting, farming, new weapons, new gear, new new crafting stations it's going to be really fun uh, but i want to get this house finished and i want to sign you guys off and give you an idea of what to expect from this primitive plus server so let's see if i can even get it to play along okay this might be a process guys why why primitive plus why what is happening there okay i'll be back mother effer All right, guys, let's try a technique for solving this issue. I have no idea if this will work, as I hope it will. Let's see if I can get you in the right spot right out of the gate. Yes, that would be perfect. Okay, so hopefully I'm going to be able to put this up. And hopefully now take this down. Oh, God, that's terrifying. Yes, perfect. I think this is going to work now. And we should have something to snap to. Okay. Yes. So primitive plus building, not something you're going to see a lot of. Look how off-centered these beams are up top. What a pain in the butt. Okay. Come on. Perfect. And then the final step is to put these gate frames on the front. Uh, I have gigantic ones and I have gates in them. And I think what we are going to do is see if it will snap. Why wouldn't it snap? We, we were snapping earlier to some points. Now that won't work anymore. Hmm. Okay, guys. So what we may have to do is just line it up manually because it's not wanting to snap where I had in mind, which is, oh, there. So what we could do is, is it something like this that's just slightly off. And that's the version I want right there. All right. Give me a few minutes to line this up and line it up perfect. All right. It's pretty funky, but it's done beautiful uh guys i'm gonna leave it there like i said you will not see a ton of building over the remainder of this series can i still get up this ladder oh good stuff okay well a redesign may be in order 
who knows but uh yeah you won't see a ton of building i may do some minor tweaks to make this more usable uh, but that's it and then in future episodes what we're going to get into is all the crafting stations the stuff i've been flying back to the island for uh, we're going to set ourselves up with the construction station uh, hand mill wood station all that kind of stuff and then uh, after that we'll move into some cooking and planting some crops probably out in the middle here in this little greenish part of this desert island but that does it guys that does it for this episode of primitive plus from the primitive unlimited server and this is part of my let's zoom that in all right guys that does it for this episode of primitive plus from the primitive unlimited server we are zoomed in properly and that's the house we put together this episode not my best work and we won't be doing a whole lot of building in primitive plus uh, we are going to get into the crops the engrams we're going to keep bees we're going to raise a little dodo farm we're going to get get all we'll make viking axes if you if you're into this series let me know and i can make sure you see a whole lot more of it guys that does it for this one Thank you so much for watching. My name is Unite the Clans. I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.